This month on Images. EMT and nursing students work together in an emergency, build a foundation for a career in architecture, and tally the benefits of studying accounting at College of DuPage. All of that and more on this edition of Images. Hi, I'm Rio Almaria, Admission Representative at College of DuPage. Welcome to Images, the program that keeps you up to date on what's happening here at COD. In a medical emergency, teams of personnel come together to provide swift response and urgent care, from the site to the ambulance to the hospital. To recreate the cross-disciplinary action, College of DuPage conducted a simulation of a real emergency medical response call involving collaboration between emergency medical service students and nursing students. Today we had a collaboration with the EMT students and the nursing students. So the nursing students are actually students getting ready to graduate in, the, in May. Um, they had the opportunity to um, have a collaboration where there was a patient in a situation that failed, hurt their head, they fell from a second story window. And the EM2 students had the opportunity to stabilize the patient and then call the nursing students at the hospital and give a report. And then at that time, the nurses were able to anticipate the arrival of the patient. They started to prepare the room um, for the patient and then they were um, able to help facilitate um, transferring that patient into the actual hospital and getting that patient into a bed. And then they got an additional update from the EMT students, and then at that time they started to provide care um, to the patient. EMT students and the nursing students do not normally work together. Those departments work independently, but we wanted to have a collaboration with the EMT students simply because we thought that it would enhance learning. We thought it would be the opportunity to allow for the nursing students and the um, EMT students to um, take a real situation um, learn from that particular situation to possibly en enhance patient outcomes in the future. And so we thought it would be a great um, experience to um, have them collaborate to get, get a hands-on understanding of what to expect um, in the real world. This experience has allowed them the opportunity to have that collaboration. Many times our nursing students are in the hospital on a particular unit um, and their patient's already uh, assigned to the bed or the patient get admitted, but they don't really have a lot of opportunity to have a patient come in from the real world. They do have some ER rotations, but there are very few hospitals that allow some of the students to come to the ER, and then when they do, it's not like a full semester or a couple of weeks, it's a day here, day there. And so this kind of helped to bridge some of that gap of allowing them to, to be in an ER, because our simulation hospital today was set up as an ER, and so they got to collaborate with a healthcare team member that they don't normally get to collaborate with and communicate with, and so that co um, communication um, between those two groups of students I think was just phenomenal. The e EMT students had thoughts of, you know, well, what does nursing do? And the nursing students were thinking, well, what do they do? And, and where does their job begin and end? And where do our job begin and end? And so it was really phenomenal just to see the, the collaboration that they had and the questions that they started to think about and, and understanding the roles of the other um, healthcare team members. So it was really great. Anyone know the age of the child? Uh, I'm going to go ask the parents some questions. Right. Parents are over there. Any deformities? Uh, Lung sounds on bilaterally. So which leg is it that hurts right now? It's my left leg. Your left leg? Where does it hurt at on your left leg? All over. <laughs> All over. The feedback from the students has been phenomenal. Um, it brought a lot of thought-provoking um, questions and concerns about both aspects in terms of functioning. Um, I think that it helped to uh, allow for the students to, uh, to critically think, um, make um, decisions, make critical decisions or clinical decisions. Um, also, it helped them to um, be able to delegate some things that may be appropriate for um, stabilizing the patient and managing the, the care of the patient, too. Tommy? Tommy? Is he going to die? What's oh, happening? He's throwing up. He's throwing up now. Tommy, what is going on? 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 Tommy, what is
today when I talked to the other instructors that were involved, they were very enthusiastic. I'm very enthusiastic about it and I hope that this is something that the college will allow us to continue to facilitate. It's a great learning experience um, and I think that we can do even more of these types of simulations which will enhance the knowledge of both of our students in, in both departments. I think that this was a, a fantastic experience and I think that the students benefited from it greatly. I hope that we can continue to collaborate and um, not only with just that one department, but we have a lot of healthcare programs here at the college and it would be nice that we could get more healthcare programs involved in some type of collaborative simulation. It would be a great um, experience to be able to do that. For more information about all of COD's health and medical response programs, including nursing and emergency medical services, visit us on the web at cod.edu. The responsibilities of an architect can be as varied as the backgrounds and interests of students pursuing a career in architecture. It is a true blend of art and science, logic and imagination. COD's architecture program nurtures students' creative and analytical abilities, preparing them for further study and entrance into a field with endless possibilities. I think ever since we're kids, we have this innate need to build and to create, whether it be houses or have this need to create something that's ours. And so I think architecture has offered me a fountain that I can then produce something that puts my mark on the world. I've always been drawing buildings. I've always been trying to understand why buildings work, how buildings work, and how can I make my own buildings. I've always wanted to be an architect. I want to build something and the accomplishment, like when you finish this, you feel amazing. Architecture, frankly, is not just like about buildings. It's about being creative. It's an artistic major. Why not make drawings? Why not be, like, be part of that drawing and say this is my drawing um, or my building, my art? I think my favorite part is that basically every architectural project is just a puzzle to be solved. And there's so many different ways, but when you find that perfect way, it's a perfect fit and it all kind of falls into place. I've always been interested in science and art. So I think it kind of where those two meet and just I don't know, think about every day a building is used by everyone in it and that is basically their life. So you're designing something to fit their life. You know, we're wired as people to be both emotional and rational. And what I appreciate about the architectural profession is that it's right in the middle and uh, there's endless possibilities. That's what makes it fun every day. The architect is really responsible for the design and planning of buildings and structures and the places and spaces that we inhabit. And on a day-to-day -day basis, the architect can be involved in, a, in really a wide range of activities from working with clients to drawing construction documents, building models, working with 3D renderings. But in the end, it's the architect that really manages and leads the design process and is really responsible for the creative vision for a building. Architecture school is an opportunity for students to express their creative nature, but it also has a good deal of concrete, practical uh, experience. It also teaches you how to learn new things, which is kind of interesting. And I think it really inspires you to even want more to learn, to constantly be learning more. Uh, and I think that's the best, the best thing about it. A typical day in school would consist of classes, which were like history, theory of architecture, all these things. And then there'd be a portion of the day, a large portion, which was studio, like design work, where you're sitting there with a the professor, like one-on-one, -on -one, or with, your with other students, and you're making models, you're making drawings, you're talking about ideas and concepts. It's a lot of work, but it's, it's all fun work. Like, it's incredibly fun to design buildings, make models, you know, work with all these peers and learn from them, you know, day and night. What's wonderful about architecture school is it's the precisely, maybe the only time in your life where you get to explore ideas and not be constrained in any way. And that's really the fun of it. Being in a room full of creative people, like studio, is, is just amazing. We have 25 kids in our studio right now and there's 25 answers and they're all different and they're all unique. 
to become a licensed architect, you first need to obtain a professional degree in architecture. And here at COD, we offer students the first two years of that professional degree. And then we help our students transfer into university architecture programs. Our architecture program at the College of DuPage is unique because we focus exclusively on the first two years of an architectural education. In doing so, we can offer students small class sizes, individual attention. All of our studio courses are taught by licensed professionals. We have a rigorous design studio curriculum that prepares students to have a strong portfolio for transfer. I came to study at COD because I knew that there were great professors who could start my career off. They not only help you and teach you about the process of design and how to design, but they also teach you the skills and the technical parts of it too. And then offer me a great opportunity to transfer to very renowned colleges within two years. The studios are really nice, honestly. You have your own desk space all the time. It's consistent within the second year studio. It's just home away from home. There's been a tremendous investment by this community to give students some of the best spaces. In fact, you know, the funny thing is, is that uh, the, uh, the design studios you have here are often far better than what you'll find when you go to a four-year institution. The coolest thing to do is like coming in when a project's due and having something and talking about your project in front of your peers and your teacher. You get feedback from these critiques that help you become better as a designer and almost, build, for me, gain more confidence and like, okay, I can do this and I can go further. Our design studios culminate in a final review where we invite professional architects to come in and be guest jurors and critique the students' work and give the students feedback on their design projects. The final review is valuable for students because it allows them to develop their professional presentations. It also allows the students to get feedback on their creative work and it connects our students to working design professionals within the industry. The ability to actually tap into the surrounding community, the business community, with other architects who are practitioners rather than just being academics is something that you rarely find in uh, typical four-year institutions, for example. We've been able to establish very strong transfer partnerships with university programs in our area. We've had COD students transfer to architecture schools both locally and throughout the country. And some of our students have been accepted into some of the top tier architecture programs in the nation. Now, COD is a great um, place to uh, transfer to another architecture school because um, we have great relationships with um, multiple universities like U of I, IIT, Bowling Green, that when you get in, you're as a junior. And we heard on multiple occasions that students, um, past students, that excel in their program. The amount of information we learn through the software we've used, um, the design processes, it, it really helped me move forward and stand out at Bowling Green um, and take more of a leadership role when it came to projects with other students. And so College of DuPage offered me a chance to build up my portfolio and come up with some really creative projects which then help me transfer to other colleges. The faculty here are great and they know the schools in architecture um, where students really are going to end up ultimately. So they make the transfer process very easy and, and streamlined. If students go to a junior college prior to going to a five-year institution, they have the advantage, one, a financial advantage, obviously, of not spending as much for two years of college, but they also have the advantage of having a different approach. So they're not, they go in with a fresher idea about what they're seeing. I advise young people to not do all their education in one place. The opportunity to do two years in one place, to finish that four-year degree somewhere else, and move on to possibly graduate work in a different institution is precisely the right equation. And certainly the COD program is a wonderful platform to move on to finish a four-year degree or go into master's work and uh, be very successful. If a student's interested in the creative process or the design of buildings, then they should become an architect. If, on the other hand, they're interested in the building process, then they could pursue a degree in construction management. At COD, we offer both of those paths. We have degrees in construction management, architectural technology, which is our drafting degree, and pre-architecture, which is a degree that allows students to complete the first two years of an architectural education and then transfer into a university program. Going to COD you know, introduced me to architecture, which I was not familiar with, not planning on taking in the first place. 
and really developed a love for architecture and design and the history of architecture. In a way that going to a larger school and being one of a thousand students would not have been the same experience. A good architect is one who has a curiosity about things because it covers so many avenues of life. You know, as humans, we all live, work in buildings. And the buildings are, are various types of things. And uh, so to have as broad an interest as possible, everything from science and engineering to the artistic end of things, I think is what makes you a well-rounded professional. The resources at College of DuPage are excellent. And I would encourage any prospective student to take advantage of them, really think big about what they want to do in their career, and know that you can get that here at COD. To learn more about the architecture program at College of DuPage, visit www.cod.edu slash architecture. Accounting is an essential area of study for all business majors. Accounting classes can also benefit students of all majors in their other courses and their personal lives. And the benefits of studying accounting right here at College of DuPage add up quickly as COD student Ryan Hanrahan explains. I chose to come to COD because my initial goal is to be completely debt free when graduating college. So I've spent two years here. Uh, this is my last semester. And let's see, I got into every single school I applied to uh, senior year of high school. I've already saved over 60 grand. I'm going to be transferring to University of Iowa. So it's, it's a lot of money to save and I think kids need to realize it's the same classes for the first two years no matter where you go. So my major is business finance and through that program you need to take financial and managerial accounting so that's the reasons why I chose to take accounting classes here at COD because if I was over at University of Iowa I'd have to take the same exact classes my first two years and it would have been 10 times more expensive. So that's why I took them here and it's so much cheaper. The accounting classes at College of DuPage uh, really are great if you haven't taken accounting class before because with financial accounting, I took a little bit in high school, but they really go over it well as like a, a recap from everything I learned in high school. And then now I'm taking managerial and it gets much more in depth so it is a little bit harder than high school once you get further into it, but I mean, it's college, that's, you know, that's expected. Class sizes at COD are very small. I really like that they're, they are small classes, at least for the gen ed part, because teachers have the chance to interact with you more, and you really get a better chance to learn everything because you're up closer, you're not, you know, really far away, can't see a screen, being distracted by a hundred other people in like an amphitheater or something like that. Choosing to come to College of DuPage, it's given me an extra two years that normal kids, you know, wouldn't have had to kind of rethink what I wanted to do with my life, where I wanted to go. I was able to work for both years I've been here and build up some financial stability and uh, really just make some good financial decisions going into college and transferring. So it's really helped in that department because it also builds up my resume tremendously compared to I'm stuck at, you know, a room and board at, you know, a normal university my first two years. Coming to COD, I definitely have an advantage over other juniors I know at University of Iowa because that is where I'm transferring to. And I've just recently actually did all the calculations on how much I'm saving. I've already saved so much money and if I choose to do residency and calculate all those factors in, I will be saving a total of $36,644 and it would only cost me $20,000 so dollars to graduate from University of Iowa, a Big Ten school, which is dramatically cheaper than, because tuition there is like thirty-six grand. For my future, I've always wanted to be a musician, however, <laughs> there comes a day where you have that reality hitting you where you're like, well, I'm paying for stuff now. So I need to kind of find something that works. So I decided to minor in music and major in business. That way, in the future, you know, if that falls, I still have my, my plan B because I have a business major, my degree, all these things. I've saved a bunch of money by going to COD. I can start, you know, whatever I'm doing. Right now, I'm a financial representative intern with uh, Northwestern Mutual, and it's 
it's really nice, difficult, but really nice to have because uh, I've always been in sales kind of my whole life and I just love it. So I'd like to actually work in a commission job if I had to because in a commission job, you get paid however hard you, however hard you work. And so it, it truly just determines you know, how you are as a person. There's no minimum wage or anything like that. The harder you work, the more you get paid and that's truly your work. And I, I love that idea of being able to surpass, say, hire people in a company by working harder. And it's just a really nice feeling. Plus, the paychecks are bigger, too. So who knows? Uh, with business as my major, if that goes really well, uh, honestly, I've always kind of had a fantasy to have, like, you know, things go really well. well retired by 28, I know that's funny, I know. But uh, if that does go well, I'll open up my own music shop and kind of do like a recording studio thing and just be still in touch with my passion while having my business major that enables me to even be able to do that financially because that's a lot of money and you need to get there somehow. For more information about accounting courses, certificates, and degrees offered at College of DuPage, visit us on the web at cod.edu. Achieve with COD. Summer is a perfect time to accelerate your degree program at COD. With daytime, evening, weekend, and online offerings, COD is a great option for college and university students looking to complete general education courses, save money, and transfer credits back to their home institutions. For more information, call 630-942-2380 or visit us online at cod.edu. Adult Basic Education at College of DuPage is a free educational program designed to help adults who are lacking a high school diploma build their reading, writing, math, and problem-solving skills. For many, this is the first step toward obtaining their GED certificate. Let's hear some inspirational stories of achievement from students who, by obtaining their GED certificate with help from COD, feel they have done much more than just complete their high school equivalency. My name is Kevin Ventura. I'm 18 years old. I come from Venezuela. Well, my name is Linwood Palmer. I'm 50 years old. I uh, haven't been in school for almost over 30 years. My name is Jan Bopar. I came from Cambodia since 2003. I'm Kelly. Um, I dropped out of high school when I was 16. Um, just school didn't do it for me. I either felt like classes were too easy or too hard. I used to actually work at the post office. I was a mail handler for over 13 years. And due to lifestyle, bad personal habits, I wound up getting terminated. Now you have to imagine a person almost in his 40s losing a good government job with no high school diploma. And these are one of the things that was gonna haunt me until I got my GED. I come here to the United States to change my life, to start over, make a new life. Uh, I start with English class because my English was really bad. After I finished my English class, I knew about the, the GED classes. And my father told me to start it because my education from my country is very different from here. And that would be the best to start here. I got in um, pre-GED classes and I had been working on my reading, writing, and um, Matt. The classes that you can take here, they're actually free. Um, so I did a 16 week just straight math class and then I did an eight week class where um, they go over everything with you and you take like practice tests for the GED and you sign up. The instructors, they were just awesome. Miss Amy, Miss Schumacher, they were just awesome. I mean, I couldn't ask for a better network. Then I took the GED test and for the first time in my life, I. Um, not only followed through and did it, but I actually got my GED with honors. I feel like 
um, I won a million dollars. <laughs> I'm very, very exciting. I'm very happy to pass the GED. I have opened more doors in my new country than I could have ever imagined. Taking classes at GED, at COD, was real, real nice. The, I started real well. The teachers are very good. The program is excellent. You're doing something for your life. You're making change. You're learning and you know in the future you're going to have an opportunity, a better job, a better, a lot of different stuff. After um, I received my GED, I applied for the Jumpstart Scholarship, which gives the student $500 to go back to school. And I actually started classes right away this spring after um, I got my GED. And I did really good. For the first time in my life, I was a straight-A student. And again, I had teachers that I felt like I could go to, which was nice. I wasn't intimidated anymore. Please give yourself a chance. Sign up at College of DuPage or any college and go through with the GED program. Believe me, you'll be happy in the long run. Completing my GED. Complete my GED. Completing my GED was the first step in proving to myself that I can do more with my life. Has now given me the ability to breathe. What's the first step towards a better education? To improve my um, job opportunity. To improve my English, basically. For more information about COD's adult basic education, GED preparation, and English as a Second Language, contact Continuing Education by calling 630-942-3697 or visit their pages on the web at cod.edu. Connect with COD. Learning happens anytime, anywhere with COD Online. Choose from nearly 200 courses spanning 41 disciplines, all designed to provide you with high quality instruction, support services, flexibility, and convenience. COD offers more online options than any other Illinois community college to help you achieve your educational goals. For more information, call 630-942-2380 or visit us online at cod.edu. There's always so much happening at College of DuPage. Be sure to watch images every month to stay on top of it all. Until next time, I'm Rio Almaria.